Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, let us see how to wrap text in Word. There are two ways to add an image to a Word document. You can either copy and paste the image or insert the image using the Insert Main menu. This adds the image to the place where you have placed the cursor. The image automatically populates the page based on the resolution and dimension of the image. You will then need to change the alignment and wrap the text to suit the document overall. Let us get right into it. To move an image and wrap the text along with it, click on the image and navigate to Picture Format and click on the drop down from Position. Click on the place where you want to add the image. In this case, let us choose to add the image to the top center of the page. This moves the image to the top center and wraps the text around it. Now, you can click on the image and use the anchor points to resize the image. And even rotate the image. You can freely move the image using the border lines. When you move the image, the text automatically wraps around it. There are also a few additional options that you can use to move the image and wrap text around it. Navigate to Picture Format and click on the drop down from Wrap Text for more choices to wrap the text. When you click on the Inline with Text option, Word treats the image as text. You cannot move the image freely and the text won't wrap around the image. However, you can move, resize, and rotate them and they will align themselves next to the text. When you click on the square option, the space around the image takes the shape of a square and the text wraps around the image. This case is mostly used when you have to place the image in the center of the page. Wrapping text in Word using the Tight option is also similar to the Square option. While using the Tight option, the image becomes square and the text is wrapped evenly around it. This Through option allows the text to appear as if it's passing around, but the text does not literally pass through the image. Using this option, you can easily move, resize, and rotate the text freely. The top and bottom method of wrapping text in Word has the text up and down the image, leaving the sides empty. The image populates in the middle of the page, and the text to the left and the right of the image moves to the top and bottom. Using the Behind Text and In Front of Text options, you can either move the image to the background where the text overlaps the image, or you can move the image to the foreground where the image overlaps the text. Click on the Behind Text option to add an image behind the text. If you want it in front of the text, click on the In Front of Text option to add an image before the text. That is all everyone. Knowing to wrap a text in Word sure helps you improve the readability and overall profile of your document. Choose the option that suits you the best. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.